What's going on, everybody? Today we are going to review strong notes and how to make a passive income out of it if it's a good project. So, what's going on with notes? Strong. There are lots of projects are popping up every single day. In order to understand how the nodes are working, we need to step back a little bit and assess the entire mechanism of any project per se. So it's not only a strong, but for any project that um, like, you know, claim to be uh, generating passive income and also working on that mechanism. First thing first, from programmers point of view, from a technicality point of view, you need to own your nodes, okay? And what do I mean by owning your nodes? You need to have all the technical for your nodes, not hosting it on somebody else's server. And I will explain to you step by step, I don't like their business model. I'm going also to tell you exactly my opinion at the end of the video and also give you something that is very cool. So let's go see strong, right? All right, so first thing first, we need to understand that strong block, it's like any other project that claims to generate passive income simply by running a node. And here we go to their website, it says make a node, make a difference, right? Nodes provide crucial blockchain data, yet aren't rewarded. True, uh, to some degree. So there is no reason to stay in compliance. Compliance? There is no reason to stay in compliance? Okay. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? To solve this, we let you launch a compliant nodes in a second and receive rewards. Oh, really? All right, let's see how is your plan is working. Uh, strong block NFTs, they are sold out. No, we are not going to go into that. The NFT, the, like, you know, the strong, the nodes, the DeFi is already complicated. And throwing an NFT is going to be like, you know, a circus show. So let's not go into that. Plus it's sold out. It's after the fact. And I don't like to speak about thing that is already after the fact. All right. So here's we see our leadership. We see the CEO, the team, pretty much. All right. Now, you have to give it to them. Good thing uh, they stick their faces. Uh, I don't know much about them. Uh, let's uh, go and see this guy's um, research. You go literally searching for their Twitter accounts, for their social media, get what kind of engagements, what kind of they're saying, see what kind of reactions that they have. Sometimes we see a hot project, but in reality, um, they have like 30,000 followers, but in reality, they are paid followers, right? So you can, like, you know, spend a $500 and you get your Twitter account all the way to 30,000, right? Um, give the illusion to the investors and people like you and I that, hey, we are uh, having very strong followers. We are like, you know, very strong project with a strong community. And I talked about that in my other video. If you miss that video, you can see it somewhere here. I will put it, right? But this is not the case here. So this is one of the team members here, right? 192 followers. Uh, the last tweets that he did. You know, he's doing a lot of retweets. Okay. Oh, well, that's not a good sign. A lot of retweets from the project. Anyway, I need your opinion, buddy. I need you to say your opinion louder and clear, not only retweeting. But anyway, let's check the other team member. All right, he doesn't have a Twitter, only LinkedIn. 
it is what it is right so we move on we move on right ceo 12,000 followers yeah he posted a couple of things uh he is a uh, very active uh yes i can see some engagements last tweets was november 18 and he states his own opinions which is good doing some interviews uh this is good as well so all right team presence right there i like it let's move on and by the way if any of the team members are seeing this video you are more than welcome to come on this uh, like you know channel and uh we can have some some little chat maybe and uh yeah we'll we can pretty much explain your project maybe you can put lights on some dark areas that we have a fear from or might actually push more people to invest in your project who knows all right so we move on join the blockchain revolution join the blockchain revolution okay uh they do have some audits done already on their on their smart contracts hacking okay are usually straightforward to exploit okay so they have a score let's see where's their score okay what is the overall buddy Smart contracts within this scope was manually reviewed and analyzed with the static analytics or analysis tools. Security engineer found two critical, okay, hear this out. So the audit says that they found two critical, two low and three lowest security issues during the audit. It's recommended to fix all critical issues. All right. And this is something, by the way, if you don't know about the whole cybersecurity uh, space in the crypto and how these audits, whether to be an ethical hackers running like, you know, the actual team or the, this is this is the way that they work. So you submit a contract, you contact them, you pretty much hire them. So you submit your contract, the small contracts, they look at it and they try to look at it from a point of view and try and exploit it, uh, any possible uh like you know code that is vulnerable for attack and then that they will like you know pretty much review it and put a score on it and they will also tell you hey you need to fix this you need to fix this that's a weakness that might be like you know something that can be hacked down the road and you go about fixing your contract if you are a legitimate project that's basically it but so you have an idea small contract auditor we have concerns uh for next item so they actually said what they are concerned about this is pretty much straightforward right this is straightforward okay. so it's a good thing that they have audit right always a good thing to have an audit right and what else do you have in your website they have a note set up and no guidelines terms of service token address small contract and nft contract okay so let's go to a token address and actually let's go to coin market cap all right so coin market cap and let's see the price of the token of the strong token because this is something that i want to speak with you about see with every single time you try to invest in these projects. There's something that you need to understand. Their token, if they have a token, and of course they do have a token, they are going to have a token, right? The tokens are fluctuating in a price. So in the case of Strong, they state that you need to have somewhere around here. Let's go to create your node, right? Create your node now. So we are doing this together, my friends. We're doing this together. I'm doing this for you. I'm going literally a step-by-step, -step, analyzing the project, analyzing the website, doing these things. I like doing the real, not behind the scene reviews, right? All right, so my node, 
Join thousands of nodes supporting the Ethereum network and earn strong. All right. All right. To create a node, you need to get strongs. And how many strongs do you need? How many strongs do you need? I need at least 10. Well, here's what it says. A contribution of 10 strongs to strong block community is required to create a node and participate in rewards. Your 10 strongs will be distributed 10% future use, 10% strong ETH and link strong pools for rewards, 20% into a strong pool, and whopping 60% into node. Are you ready? Rewards pool. I got a problem here, my friend. All right, so let's stop here for a second. Let's stop here for a second. Let me explain to you something that this might be a biggest obstacle in front of every single one who wants to invest in strong. When you put a pool that consists of 60% of your investment that goes to pay somebody else before you who already invested in a project before you as a rewards, here we're not investing anymore. Here what is going on is like shuffling the money. Now, let me simplify it for you. So let's say you decided to go and buy 10 strongs and convert them into one node. By the way, they are going to pay you 0.1 node, uh, 0.1 strong, I'm sorry, every single day, right? Your node is running 10 strongs and creating a node. Now here's what's gonna happen. You go and buy that 10 strongs and convert them into a node. Your node, it's not under your control, it's under their control. Now hear me out, that's number one issue. Number two issues is that you don't have the knowledge of how the node is running or what kind of keys or how to control your nodes. You're only having access to what they are giving you, right? But this is not, this is not really an issue to an average Joe. Maybe for someone who's technical, but this is not an issue for an average Joe. I can understand that. But here's the thing. You already goes to pay what? to pay somebody else's rewards who is already before you, just happened to join the project before you. No, no, my friend, that's not good. There is a word for that. You know what it's called? It's called the Ponzi scheme. Have anything against the people who are strong? I actually like the idea, I like the project, but I hate the actual mechanism behind it it has to be it has to be some other way it has to be some other way to make it work right 50 percent out of the pool goes to pay somebody else's rewards that means the whole system is depending on somebody else on the new people newcomers to come into the project to supply that pool so you and i my friend can get our rewards but hold on a second this is not all you remember when i told you that the price of strong fluctuate up and down so let's say we invest today and what is what is today what is today's strong price all right so right now is as 585 so you need 10 remember at 585, you need $5,850. 5,850 dollars. What if, I'm just saying, what if strong price goes to 300? If the strong price stay consistent, stagnant, you need, my friend, three months or maybe close to four months just to get your capital investment back. On that ratio of 0 0.1 strong that they give you every single day, you need at least three to four months just to get your capital back. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. They're not making any profits during that three months or four months. 
right? But wait a second. How about the price for strong drops? So you bought out of 585. How about if it drops? How about if the crypto market crashes in the next two or three months and drops all the way to 150? Well, good luck trying to get your capital back in three years. You see the problem there? To me, a passive income is that if I put my money, my capital right away in a project and start making a passive income on top of that capital, I can access my capital anytime. You don't give me back my capital a drop by drop. Mm -mm, that's not the way it is. You give me access, full access to my capital right away. I can pull it up. A good reference to because I believe in my like you know resonate project. It's called Pancake Swap. So Auto Cake Steak, like you know the mechanism that I'm speaking about. Although I hate cake, I believe it's a, a shit coin. But uh, hear me out. You put let's say you put a ten thousand dollar into cake, and you auto stake it on Pancake Swap. You have an excess to that 10,000K any day, any moment, any time. Meanwhile, you are earning some passive income from their auto stake rewards, right? Now the price is like, you know, fluctuating up and down, mostly down. However, that's the mechanism. Now here in Strong, you are putting your capital, but you don't have access to it. They are going to suck your capital and give it to you drop by drop for a duration of three to four months and then if you're lucky you start making some passive income i don't know about you but i don't like playing that game this is not a financial advice do whatever you want with your money if you want to invest if you want to throw your money out on this project or any other project like you know be my guest but to me, I like passive income. Again, I don't know if I've like, you know, stated this before or not. If like, you know, not go back and watch my previous videos. Uh, DeFi is my game. I like going very deep in DeFi and actually understanding the projects, reading their like in small contracts, the codes behind them, and also the mechanism, and then test them out before I actually recommend them and put my own opinion. But to me right now, my opinion on strong is that i like to invest in project i like the project i have nothing against the people behind it however i hate the mechanism that 60 percent and shuffling money and give it their words to other people that's called a system deficiency ending on the newcomers and don't tell me that like you know the price may go up all the way to a thousand it doesn't matter if no more people coming up the system will collapse right and they tell you they tell you exactly on the website they tell you oh by the way this there's nothing guarantee so they're smart about it so i have to give them a clap actually because they're actually telling you up front hey listen the reward that we are giving you the 0.1 so strong every day oh guess what if the market crashes it may go to 0 0.0001 it may go lower and it, there's no guarantee that you are going to stay making the same amount of rewards to me there are a lot of risks the risks here and the rewards here i am going to have a clear decision of steering away from this project uh if you have a different opinion i'm glad i'm very open-minded write them in the comment let me also know if you want me to review other projects i'm more than happy to do so please don't forget to subscribe we're glad to hit that thousand subscribers the first thousand subscribers and we are on our way to hit that ten thousand uh, i am planning on doing some sort of like you know giveaways when we reach five thousand and also the big one is going to be on the ten thousand don't forget to hit that like smash it and activate the notification bell so every single time i release a new video you will be notified right away thank you so much peace